Nobody builds something that big underground just for fun. You don't do that unless you have to. Right. You don't burrow like a human ant nest. Yeah. Human beings are so weird in so many ways. Yes. Deep in the remote mountains of China lies a mysterious underground world. A world left behind by an unknown ancient civilization. In 1992, a local farmer draining a village pond made a discovery that would shock the world. Under 20,000 cubic meters of pumped water lay a carved entrance. The entrance to the Longyu Caves. What he uncovered was unlike anything ever found before. Massive chambers, intricately carved columns, and precisely engineered staircases. It was clear these caves were no natural formation. Someone had meticulously hollowed out over one million cubic meters of solid rock to form this elaborate underground city. But who and why? With no clues left behind, historians were left in the dark. Through cutting-edge technology like laser scanning, researchers have begun mapping these caves in unprecedented detail. Yet the more they uncover, the deeper the mystery seems to go. Storage silos? Tombs? Observatories? Nothing is certain about these caves or the advanced civilization that built them. All that's known is that they were constructed on a scale never seen before. Join us as we dive into this profound mystery and see what new secrets the Longyu Caves may yet reveal about China's lost ancient past. The astonishing discovery of the Longyu Caves began with a simple problem in a small Chinese village. In the countryside community of Xianbian, farmers relied on irrigation from a local village pond to water their crops. But in 1992, one pond refused to drain no matter how much the locals pumped. Wu Anai, a farmer from the village, was determined to solve the mystery of the constantly full pond. He organized the villagers and funded the use of basic pumps to remove the trapped water. After over two weeks of pumping nonstop, they had shifted an incredible 20,000 cubic meters of liquid. Yet still, the water level did not drop. Wu began to wonder what could be blocking the drainage under the soil. Finally, after pumping out 17 days worth of water, a startling discovery was made. The farmers had uncovered a cavern entrance beneath the muddy bottom of the pond. But this was no ordinary cave. It showed unmistakable signs of careful human craftsmanship. Smooth walls and precisely carved stairs hinted that someone had intentionally hollowed out the space. Wu realized with amazement that he had stumbled upon an architectural marvel underground. Word of the buried finding spread across the region, capturing the imagination of local people. Thanks to Wu's determination in solving the irrigation mystery, an ancient secret had been accidentally unearthed. The serendipitous nature of the Long Yu Cave's discovery reveals how archaeological breakthroughs can stem from even everyday problems. If Wu had given up after days of fruitless pumping, these caves may have remained hidden indefinitely under the farmer's pond. His perseverance unlocked history, showing how small community efforts can make enormous contributions to our understanding of the past. The accidental way the caves were revealed also highlights how easily such constructions could have been lost to time. Hidden as they were underground, only chance preservation in the limestone allowed their story to be found. The mysterious Long Yu Caves may have remained a secret were it not for one farmer's curiosity and his dedication to solving the village's watery puzzle. Once the entrance to the first mysterious cave was found, dubbed Cave One, the true extent of this underground discovery became clearer. Eager to learn more, the villagers funded further exploration of the area. Within a year, for additional caverns had been located beneath the farmland, all connected by an intricate network of stone passages. Each new find revealed architectural marvels that astonished all who witnessed them. Hand-carved staircases twisted into lofty heights between towering pillars hewn from solid rock. Ornate bridges spanned chasms with impossible grace and stability. And throughout the caves, intricate carvings adorned the walls like etchings on parchment. Despite varying in size, all five caves displayed an advanced and sophisticated design unseen anywhere else. The skill needed to hollow out such grand spaces, 
then shape them into places of wonder, suggested this was no random act. An organized, large-scale effort had clearly been undertaken to birth this subterranean metropolis. Estimates indicate it would have required moving around 1 million cubic meters of limestone, equivalent to 400 Olympic swimming pools worth of rock. All this was achieved using primitive tools of bronze and iron, a testament to both the immense labor invested and the civilization's engineering ingenuity. Each new chamber uncovered only deepened the sense of awe, revealing more puzzles that begged for answers. Who had commissioned such masterful construction in total secrecy? And what purpose had inspired them to carve out paradises beneath the earth? Even as five caves were found, the true extent of this lost world remains shrouded in darkness, its architects as mysterious as the designs they left behind. The scale of the Long Yu Cave's construction stands as a monument to the immense effort that went into its creation. To hollow out over one million cubic meters of solid limestone would have been an extraordinary feat for any civilization. Yet this massive excavation was achieved using only basic iron and bronze tools, with no advanced machinery to aid the work. Can you imagine the backbreaking labor of manually carving out such gigantic caverns? It would have taken thousands of workers tirelessly chipping away at the stone for decades, if not centuries, to complete a project of this scale. The fact that it was all carried out in total secrecy, deep underground, makes the achievement even more unbelievable. Generations of laborers must have toiled away in darkness to slowly shape the caves into the wonders we see today. Each hammer strike and chisel blow inched the work towards completion, with the original architect's visions gradually emerging from the raw limestone. Through sheer perseverance and organization, this lost civilization transformed millions of tons of rock into the exquisite architecture that continues to astound us centuries later. But who was behind such immense coordination of manpower? What kind of leadership could rally the resources and dedication needed for multi-generational cave construction? While the caves yield no written records, their very existence stands as a silent testament to advanced social organization and technical skill. Even with our modern machinery, the Long Yu Caves would be a challenge to replicate. We can only marvel at the ancient engineers who cut their dreams into the bedrock using little more than perseverance and stone. While the architectural marvels of the Long Yu Caves astonish us, one mystery remains shrouded. What purpose drove their creation? Without any records left by the ancient builders, historians can only speculate the reasons for such monumental underground construction. Several theories have emerged, each attempting to shed light on the cave's original function. Some propose the stable temperatures and humidity within made the cave's ideal storehouses for preserving perishable goods like grains or wine through the seasons. Intricate channels may have regulated moisture, while shelves and alcoves offered practical storage nooks. This practical solution fits the engineering evident in other aspects of the design. Alternatively, the cave's grand scales and isolated locations suit the hypothesis of them serving as royal tombs for ancient nobility. Elaborate underground burial sites exist in other cultures, a fitting resting place for important figures. However, a lack of remains or funerary artifacts clouds this theory. A few envision religious significance, where quiet caverns hosted spiritual ceremonies or processions along their symmetrical layouts. Yet no religious symbols corroborate this spiritual purpose either. Scholars also speculate the caves as ancient astronomical devices, where openings precisely aligned with astronomical events. But without clear evidence, this remains but one of several speculative possibilities for functions as enigmatic as the builders themselves. As technology reveals new details, purpose remains frustratingly elusive. Without answers inscribed by the creators, Imaginations must fill in the blanks to comprehend why such a civilization invested so greatly in sculpting mystifying subterranean palaces. For now, the Long Yu Caves retain their secrets, continuing to entrance all who encounter their splendors. While the mysteries of the Long Yu Caves seem set to confound historians for eternity, the march of technology has begun to shed new light on this ancient enigma. Through innovative scanning techniques, Researchers are mapping the extensive network of caverns with unprecedented accuracy. 
Laser rangefinders and ground-penetrating radar now allow virtual tours through passages still unexplored by human feet. Where once only rough estimates could be made, 3D models now offer precise measurements of the cave's sprawling layouts. This influx of high-quality spatial data is transforming what we know. Initial surveys underestimated the total area. The caves have now been mapped to cover over 30,000 square meters. But the detailed scans also imply even this figure may be smaller than reality, as faint anomalies hint at distant corridors left undiscovered. Like breaking an encrypted code, each new revelation unlocked by technology brings us closer to deciphering the cave's full message. Structural details once impossible to discern are now vivid in laser point clouds. The engineering brilliance of pillar placements and wall carvings can be closely studied without setting foot in the fragile tunnels. Archaeological insights are gleaned without risking damage to the ancient structures. Like a digital resurrection, these high-tech methods are breathing new life into a site that would otherwise remain only partially understood. While mysteries still abound, technology ensures the secrets of Longyu won't remain buried forever. Piece by piece, the digital rebirth ushers in new discoveries to excite imaginations. As scanning powers advance to penetrate deeper than ever, we may yet find the buried clues to reveal the identity of the enigmatic builders and fulfill the dream of comprehending fully this marvel left by history. The discovery of the Longyu Caves sent shockwaves through the archaeological world. Finding such an immense underground complex constructed in total secrecy was completely unprecedented. These massive caverns hollowed from solid limestone forced experts to rethink what ancient Chinese societies were capable of. However, the caves were not the first serendipitous discovery to emerge from the region's soil. In 1974, local farmers digging a well outside the city of Xi'an stumbled upon a buried army thousands of life-size terracotta warriors rising from the earth, frozen in time. Further excavation revealed they were just one element of the vast mausoleum complex of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. The intricately detailed sculptures offered an unprecedented glimpse into his grand imperial designs and the artistic prowess of the time. Like the Longyu Caves, this accidental find precipitated immense scholarly interest. Both sites highlighted just how much remained unknown about ancient Chinese civilizations. Just as the terracotta army reshaped perceptions of Qin dynasty military pomp and funerary customs, the subterranean caves force a reimagining of what local populations were capable of achieving through ambitious underground construction. While the terracotta warriors left records pointing to their imperial purpose, the Longyu caves remain an enigma. Yet their discovery affirmed that other marvels undoubtedly lie buried, waiting to be unearthed. Who knows what other archaeological revelations may emerge from the earth, transforming our understandings as these unexpected discoveries have before them. The fields of history and China's past are still being rewritten thanks to the surprises found by those who never stopped wondering what lay beneath their feet. The Longyu Grotto's Scenic Area Management Committee oversees protection and exploration of the caves. They continue permitting limited excavations and surveying new sections. Chinese and foreign archaeologists receive access to conduct surveys using technologies like 3D laser scanning, ground-penetrating radar, and core sampling to map the caves and search for additional tunnels. This is providing more data on the layout and architecture. Scholars from various fields like archaeology, history, engineering, and astronomy analyze artifacts, architecture, and the cave's design slash orientation to try and shed light on dating, construction techniques, and possible functions. Conservation efforts are ongoing as tourism has increased, including controlling visitor access, light-slash-humidity levels, and monitoring the caves for structural stability or signs of deterioration over time. Some researchers have proposed excavating specific areas like platforms or tunnel blockages that may contain buried artifacts, though this requires careful planning to preserve fragile structures. International conferences bring together experts to discuss new findings and debate theories on topics like dating methods, cultural influences, and comparative studies to other ancient underground sites. So while access is limited, systematic multidisciplinary research of the Longyu Caves continues today with the goal of solving lingering mysteries over time, 
Here are other mysterious caves discovered in China that puzzled scientists and archaeologists alike. Hanging Coffins Caves of Sichuan Province, China High up in the rugged cliffs of China's Sichuan Province, explorers have uncovered a truly remarkable and mysterious archaeological find, ancient burial chambers containing preserved coffins suspended from the cave walls. These so-called Hanging Coffin Caves have left archaeologists and historians baffled, as they struggle to determine how and why these difficult-to-access burial sites were constructed. The coffins themselves are the first puzzling aspect of this discovery. They appear to be extremely well-preserved, made of carved wood and in some cases even decorated with intricate carvings and paintings. This suggests they were the work of a sophisticated, technologically advanced civilization. What makes the discovery even more remarkable is the location of these burial chambers. They are situated hundreds of feet up on the sheer cliff faces, accessible only by the most daring climbers. How did the people responsible for creating these hanging coffins manage to transport and position them in such remote, hard-to-reach places? Some researchers believe the coffins may have been hoisted up using elaborate pulley systems or wooden scaffolding, though evidence of such structures has yet to be found. The alternative explanation, that the coffins were somehow carried up the cliffs by hand, is equally mind-boggling, given the immense effort and risk involved. Adding to the mystery is the fact that the hanging coffins appear to date back hundreds, if not thousands, of years. This means the people responsible for their creation lived in a time long before modern construction equipment and mountain climbing gear existed. Their ability to access and utilize these remote cliffside locations for burials is truly remarkable. Theories abound as to the purpose and significance of the hanging coffin caves. Some believe they were the final resting place of elite, revered members of an ancient society whose elevated burial sites were meant to symbolize their high status and spiritual importance. Others suggest the cliffside locations may have been chosen for defensive or religious reasons, to protect the deceased from disturbance or to bring them closer to the heavens. Unfortunately, the remote and hard-to-access nature of these burial chambers has made them difficult to study in detail. Archaeologists have only been able to briefly examine a small number of the hanging coffins, with many more remaining out of reach high up on the cliffs. Attempts to excavate and remove the coffins have also proven extremely challenging, given the treacherous terrain. As a result, the hanging coffin caves of Sichuan remain one of the most enigmatic and perplexing archaeological discoveries in China. Guangxi Cave in Southwestern China Deep in the rugged, mountainous region of Guangxi in southwestern China, a team of intrepid cave explorers recently made a remarkable discovery. A network of towering, cathedral-like caverns with large openings in their ceilings that allow natural sunlight to pour in. These so-called skylight caves have left researchers and scientists utterly perplexed, as their scale and unusual geology defy easy explanation. The Guangxi province is known for its dramatic karst landscapes, towering limestone formations carved out by millions of years of erosion. But the skylight caves discovered here are unlike anything else found in the region, or anywhere else in the world for that matter. Where most caves are formed gradually over time as water wears away the rock, these cavernous spaces seem to have been created in a far more dramatic fashion. The first thing that strikes you about the skylight caves is their sheer size. As you peer down into their massive, cathedral-like interiors, you're overwhelmed by a sense of scale that's hard to fully comprehend. The main chambers easily reach heights of 600 feet or more, with yawning openings in the ceilings that allow brilliant shafts of natural light to illuminate the space below. These openings, or skylights, are the real mystery at the heart of these caves. Typically, cave ceilings are a solid, unbroken expanse of rock. But here, there are gaping holes that expose the sky above. How could such enormous cavities have formed naturally in the rock? And why are they so evenly distributed across the cave network? One possibility is that the skylights were created by a catastrophic geological event, like a massive sinkhole or meteor impact, that punched through the mountain. But the sheer number of these openings, as well as their uniform size and shape, suggests a more gradual, natural formation process. 
Some researchers theorize that the caves may have been shaped by flowing water that carved out the rock over an unfathomably long period of time. Another bewildering aspect of the skylight caves is their overall structure. Rather than a single, cavernous space, they're part of an interconnected network of smaller chambers and tunnels, almost like an underground city carved into the mountainside. In fact, their intricate formations made geologists feel like calling archaeologists to the site for carbon dating. Explorers have mapped out dozens of these individual cave systems, each with their own unique skylights, passages, and geological features. So how did this entire subterranean landscape come to be? One possibility is that the caves were formed by the gradual erosion of the limestone over millions of years, as water seeped into cracks and fractures in the rock and slowly dissolved it away. This would explain the labyrinthine layout of the caves, as well as the presence of the skylights perhaps created when the ceiling of a cave chamber collapsed inward. But the size and consistency of the skylights has led some to propose a more radical theory. They suggest that the caves may have actually been constructed, or at least significantly modified, by some unknown ancient civilization. The perfectly circular openings in the ceilings, for instance, seem too uniform to have been created by natural processes alone. And the fact that the caves are part of an interconnected network, rather than isolated caverns, adds to the sense that there may have been an intentional, coordinated effort behind their construction. Of course, this is all speculation at this point. The skylight caves of Guangxi remain one of the most puzzling and unexplained geological discoveries in recent memory. Researchers are still in the early stages of exploring and studying these remarkable subterranean spaces, and there's a lot we still don't know about their origins and formation. What we do know is that these caves are a breathtaking sight to behold. Descending into their cavernous interiors, bathed in the warm glow of natural sunlight filtering in from above, is a truly awe-inspiring experience. It feels almost like stepping into another world, a hidden, primeval realm deep within the heart of the earth. Chongqing Snail Shell Caves, Southwestern China Deep in the mountainous Chongqing region of southwestern China, a team of explorers recently stumbled upon a series of caves unlike anything seen before. Carved into the cliffs are a network of spiral-shaped caverns that resemble giant snail shells. These so-called snail shell caves have left geologists and archaeologists completely puzzled. Their unique, winding structure seems to defy explanation through natural geological processes alone. Typically, Caves are formed over long periods of time as water gradually erodes away the rock, creating cavernous spaces underground. But the snail shell caves have a distinctly different appearance. Their passages twist and turn in a perfectly symmetrical spiral pattern, almost as if they were intentionally carved into the mountainside. When you first lay eyes on these caves, it's hard not to be struck by their sheer visual impact. The entrances open up like the mouth of a giant shell, with the passages curling inwards in smooth, concentric circles. As you descend deeper into the caverns, the spiral structure becomes even more pronounced, with the walls and ceilings arching overhead in a mesmerizing, almost hypnotic design. Adding to the mystery is the fact that the caves seem to have been strategically carved into the cliffs, rather than forming naturally underground. The openings are situated high up on the mountainsides, accessible only by treacherous trails and climb. This suggests the caves may have served some specific purpose for their creators, rather than simply being a natural phenomenon. But who could have carved these remarkable spiral structures, and why? That's the big question that has researchers stumped. There are no obvious signs of tools or technology that would have been available to ancient civilizations in the region. And the sheer scale and complexity of the cave's construction is beyond what we might expect from a pre-modern society. Some theorize that the snail shell caves could be the work of an advanced, unknown culture that inhabited the area thousands of years ago. Perhaps they were used for spiritual or astronomical purposes, with the spiral design holding some kind of symbolic or ritualistic significance. Or maybe they served as elaborate burial chambers, with the deceased interred deep within the twisting passages. Others propose more natural explanations, suggesting the caves were shaped over time by powerful geological forces, like water erosion or tectonic activity. 
The spiral pattern could have formed due to the unique mineral composition of the rock, or through the gradual accumulation of sediment and debris. But even these theories struggle to account for the cave's remarkable symmetry and intentional placement. Glowing Fungus Caves, Hubei Province, Central China Deep within the mountainous Hubei Province of Central China, a team of explorers recently made a truly extraordinary discovery. Caves that glow with an otherworldly, bioluminescent light. The source of this eerie illumination? Vast colonies of glowing fungus covering the cave walls and ceilings. These glowing fungus caves have left scientists and researchers completely amazed. Not only are they a breathtaking visual spectacle, but they also offer a rare glimpse into a unique and little understood ecosystem hidden deep underground. When you first step into these caves, it's hard not to be struck by the sheer visual impact. The walls and ceilings are blanketed in a glowing, neon green layer of fungus, pulsing and flickering with a mesmerizing bioluminescent light. It's like stepping into another world, somewhere between science fiction and fantasy. But the real mystery lies in understanding how and why this bioluminescent fungus is able to thrive in such a harsh, cave-like environment. Typically, these types of glowing organisms are found in warm, humid tropical forests, where they use their light to attract insects for pollination. In the cold, dark confines of a cave, the conditions seem far less hospitable. Yet somehow, these fungal colonies have not only survived, but managed to flourish and spread across the rocky cave surfaces. Researchers believe the fungus may be a previously undiscovered species, specially adapted to the unique subterranean ecosystem of the glowing fungus caves. What's particularly fascinating is the way the fungus seems to be interacting with, and potentially sustaining, other forms of life within the caves. Explorers have discovered small crustaceans, insects, and even tiny fish swimming in pools of water, all seemingly thriving in the eerie, bioluminescent glow. This suggests the fungus may be playing a crucial role in supporting an entire underground food chain acting as a primary producer that converts nutrients and energy into a form that other cave-dwelling organisms can use. It's a remarkable example of how life can find a way to adapt and survive, even in the most extreme and isolated environments. Of course, there's still a lot we don't know about the glowing fungus caves and the unique ecosystem they contain. Researchers are only just beginning to study these remarkable subterranean spaces, and there are sure to be many more mysteries and surprises waiting to be uncovered. What is clear, though, is that these caves represent a truly awe-inspiring natural wonder. The sight of their bioluminescent walls and ceilings is enough to leave any visitor spellbound, and the possibility that they could hold the key to understanding how life adapts to some of the most extreme conditions on Earth only adds to their scientific and cultural significance. Terrified Forest Caves, Yunnan Province, China Deep in the rugged mountains of China's Yunnan Province, a team of cave explorers made an astounding discovery, vast underground chambers filled with the fossilized remains of an ancient petrified forest. These petrified forest caves have left researchers utterly amazed, as they provide a truly remarkable window into the distant past. When you first step into these caves, it's almost as if you've been transported back in time millions of years. The walls and ceilings are covered in the ghostly, stone-like forms of ancient trees and plants, frozen in place after being transformed into rock over the eons. The sheer scale and density of these petrified fossils is what makes the petrified forest caves so remarkable. Rather than scattered fragments, the caves contain entire forests worth of prehistoric plant life. Their intricate branches, trunks and leaves meticulously preserved in stunning detail. Researchers believe the conditions inside these caves, with their stable temperatures and lack of oxygen, have allowed these ancient plant fossils to remain remarkably intact for millions of years. It's as if time has stood still, preserving a snapshot of what the local ecosystem looked like long before humans ever walked the earth. Studying the petrified forest caves has given scientists a rare opportunity to learn more about the ancient environment and climate of this region. By analyzing the chemical composition and structure of the fossilized plants, they can gain insights into the temperature, rainfall, 
and other environmental factors that shaped the landscape millions of years ago. This information is not only fascinating from a scientific perspective, but it also has important implications for our understanding of how the Earth's climate has changed over time. The petrified forest caves essentially act as a geological time capsule, allowing researchers to peer back into deep history and track the natural evolution of the planet's ecosystems. Of course, exploring and studying these remarkable caves is no easy feat the remote. Rugged terrain of Yunnan makes access extremely challenging, and the caves themselves are often filled with treacherous obstacles like unstable rock formations and deep crevasses. Researchers have to navigate these dangers carefully, mindful of the need to preserve the fragile fossil specimens. But the potential rewards of unlocking the secrets of the petrified forest caves make the effort worthwhile. Who knows what other insights into the distant past these caves might hold? Perhaps there are even more extraordinary fossil discoveries waiting to be made, shedding new light on the ancient life forms that once thrived in this region. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos on archaeological and geological discoveries. Feel free to click the video on your screen.